there, I'm Miss Janet and I'm here at the Yellow Springs Library. And I'm here to share with you a bedtime story time. And we're gonna start off with a song that I think you all know, and it's Twinkle Twinkle, okay? We did it the last time I did a bedtime story time with you. And I have an extra verse to sing that maybe you might like to learn as well. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Then the traveler We have some stories, some good bedtime stories to share with you. But I do want to mention, you can see behind me, we have a bulletin board and it says, imagine your story, because that's our summer reading theme this year. And we want to make sure that all of you are signed up. Your parents can go to our website and click on summer reading and sign up in Beanstack. This year, instead of using little paper cards, we're doing all of that logging online and log in the time that they read to you or that you share a book with somebody else as well. And keep track of all your reading time because we have some fun prizes that you can earn for your reading time this summer. And you can pick those up at the library. And right now we have curbside pickup, but very, very soon we're gonna be opening up for the public to be able to come in. And we're looking forward to seeing you because we miss seeing all of our patrons and I especially miss seeing you kids. So our story that we're gonna to read tonight is the Twins Blanket, and it is by Haiwan Yum. And here you look, we have a great picture of two little twin sisters and they are tucked in the bed underneath the same blanket. Maybe you're a twin or maybe you know somebody who's a twin. What, what is a twin? It's two children that their mommies carried inside their tummy at the same time. And so they're the same age and they can be sisters or they can be brothers or it can even be a brother and a sister. Um, so here we have our two little twins are hiding under their blanket and it looks like their little friends over here are looking at them and kind of wondering when they're gonna come out. And we appreciate Macmillan Publishing for allowing us to read these stories to you online. We, we're look-alike twins. That means we look like each other. And that means we share everything. We share toys and clothes and a room. Once we even shared our mother's tummy. And we've shared the same blanket ever since we were born. That's what mommy says. There they are tucked in as little tiny babies. Two little babies at once. But we're big girls now. I'm already five. I'm five too. We're twin sisters. Remember, silly? The blanket has gotten too small for the both of us. Look at that. Their legs are hanging out. Their arms are hanging out. I think it is. I think it was worthwhile when they were babies, but now it's too small for those two big girls. I think I should have this blanket because I am the big sister and I cannot sleep without it. No, I think I should have it because, well, I can't sleep without it either. And you're only three minutes older than me. I am mad at my little sister. Mad at me? I am mad too. You're so greedy. That's a good word. What does greedy mean? Greedy is when we want everything for ourselves and we don't want to share. Mommy says we should have separate beds now, twin beds, since we are big twin girls. 
and she's going to make a new blanket for each of us. And here it shows them pulling this poor doll from both ends. And I am glad mommy is going to make them a blanket for each of them because I think they're ready to have their own blankets. So we're buying new fabric for our blankets. I pick out yellow with flowers on it. Yellow is my favorite color. And I pick out pink with birds and flowers because pink is my favorite color. And I'm sure you all each have a favorite color. What color would you pick if you were picking new fabric for a blanket? You can think about that. And before she starts to sew, mommy lets us wash the fabric in the backyard. Oh, this is a great mommy. She's got a great idea. They're out there stomping in the little pool with their fabric and the water tickles us and we laugh and we laugh and it's so much fun and it gets everybody in a good mood. And then we dry the fabric in the sun. I think yellow is an excellent color for the blanket, don't you? No, pink is much better color for everything. And their, their fabric is drying on their clothesline and it looks like their toes are drying in the sun as well. Just right for a summer day. It takes a while and a lot of sewing to make two blankets. I want mommy to finish mine first. No, mine first. You always get to be first. That's not fair. Finally, they're finished. Mine is so beautiful. Now I have my own blanket, just like a big girl, and I can't wait to sleep with it. Mine is even more beautiful than yours, and it smells like sunshine. When you hang fabric or blanket or clothes out on a line, it's, they smell so good. They smell like fresh air and sunshine. It's a great way to dry things. We go to bed early in our new twin beds, but I can't sleep. Me either. My eyes are open wide in the dark. There they are in their beds. They've been used to sleeping side by side, haven't they? I stretch out my arm. There's my little sister's hand. I hold my sister's hand tight. I think she is scared. I was scared, but now I feel better. Then we fall asleep in our own beds with our own blankets for the very first time. They are big girls now, aren't they? And they are all tucked in with their new special blankets in their big twin beds with their special sleepy toy. And there, there they are sound asleep. Do you have a special blanket? What color is your blanket? I think a lot of kids have a special blanket or maybe you have a special toy or maybe you have both. But I think the twins are gonna like their new beds and their new blankets. And I think they're gonna be really happy sleeping now that they're big that way. Did you like that story? I like that story. And you know what? That story was about blankets and it was about going to bed and it was about not being afraid. And it also was about sharing, wasn't it? They were having some trouble sharing that first blanket and then sharing that doll. And we have another story about sharing. And we also have a felt rhyme about sharing that we're gonna do now and it has a little song that goes with it. And I think you can probably sing it with me and I think you can help me find the rhyming words. And it goes like this. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. I have a hat. There's a little felt hat up there. I'll share with, who do you think we could share the hat with that would rhyme with hat? I have a hat, I'll share with cat. It's so much fun to share. I bet you can sing this next one along with me. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. I have a box I'll share with. Who could we share a box with? What rhymes with box? What animal rhymes with box? <gasps> I'll share with fox. It's so much fun to share. I bet you might've got that one. See if you can get this next one. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. I have a log I'll share with. Say it if you know what it is. That's right, log. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. I have a boat. What animal could we share a boat with? And their name would rhyme with boat. I'll share with your 
bite. I'll share with goat. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. I have a pail. Who could we share a pail with? I'll share with whale. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. This one is particularly funny. I have a wig. I'll share with what, what rhymes with wig? Yes, you got it. You are so smart. I'll share with pig. <laughs> I think that's the funniest one. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. I'll have a chair. I'll share with, who am I going to share the chair with? I'll share with bear. It's so much fun to share. Let's do that little tune together. It's so much fun to share. It's so much fun to share. I have a chair I'll share with Bear. It's so much fun to share. Good job. Okay, now we have our last story for our bedtime story time. And it is called Pie is for Sharing. And you can see what is happening in this picture. Can you tell they're having a picnic and they have some really yummy, beautiful looking pie. And here on the cover page, it's always fun to look at this, at the cover page and see what's going to happen in the story. There is a lot to look at on this. There is uh, mom and dad are there and there's pie. And it looks like this guy here is really wanting this pie. And down here, there's some things sitting. It kind of gives us a clue to something that's going to happen in the story, a backpack and a ball glove. And over here, we see if you look really carefully, there's a bike helmet. So it kind of looks like maybe they're going to go somewhere, maybe take the pie somewhere. And down here, little sis and the dog you're playing under a little blanket. Pie is for sharing by Stephanie Ledyard. And this book also is through Macmillan Press. Actually, Roaring Brook Press, which is a subsidiary of Macmillan Press. Okay, and here we go. We see the family. They're getting on their bikes. They got their bike helmets on. They got their um, they got packs on their back and the little sister is in her bike seat up here and looks like even the pets coming along the doggies coming along and there they are they're heading somewhere. Pie is for sharing. You don't eat a whole pie yourself do you? It's for sharing. It starts out whole and round. There it is on the table. They're at a picnic maybe a family picnic they've gotten together with maybe cousins maybe some friends. And you can slice it in as many pieces as you wish. Looks like everybody's getting a piece. Almost. Somebody. The pie was all gone. Somebody didn't get this little girl, didn't get a piece, did she? There are other things that are good for sharing too. A book is for sharing, and a ball is also nice for sharing. And a tree, a tree is always shared. That is a big tree, and there are a lot of kids up in the tree. They each have their own branch, don't they? Even when you think it is yours alone, and there's a little boy up in the tree reading a book, but somebody else, look at that, is up in the tree as well. Sometimes you don't realize when there's animals around you, and they see you. Sometimes you don't see them. Other things are for sharing, like a jump rope and your place in the middle. And a rhyme, a rhyme is very good for sharing. And jumping rope, you can do both. You can do a jump rope rhyme. Time, that's probably the most important thing to share is to share our time with each other. And here they are, looks like maybe there's a little beach and there's a river and they're having some fun in the water. A boat and a stream. Your towel warmed by the sun. Maybe those are brothers and sisters. Maybe there's a cousin, a good friend there. Easy to share cousins and sticks and stones from your pocket. Those are things that are easy to share and hard to share your best friend. Here goes the dog. She's upset. But if you are hurt, it helps to have a hug and some bandages and the story about how it happened. If you get hurt, it's always really helps to be able to tell someone how it happened. And their mommy is listening. 
gifts, hideouts, and treasures, these are good things to share. You find treasures outside, maybe a neat stone or a special stick or feathers. The last time we read a bedtime story, Dog had a suitcase and he had special things like feathers and sticks and stones in his suitcase. Those were all his favorite things. Words and music are made for sharing. That's something you can always share. And you know what? Even if you can't be close to someone, you can still share a song, can't you? Just like I'm sharing a song with you. You're at home and we did a song and we could share that song together, even though we're, we may not be close or even in the same room. So, so are berries. Those are good things to share. And the last piece of homemade bread. Even the crumbs. Look who gets the crumbs. Many can share one light. It's getting to be that time. And maybe you will have some sparklers to share as well. Because you know what's coming up? The 4th of July is coming up. And a blanket and a breeze and the sky. These are all for sharing. Even if you just put a little blanket in your backyard and you look up, you lay on the blanket and you sit back and let your head fall back and look up the stars in the sky. That's a wonderful thing to share with your family or maybe with a good friend. Just like pie. And if there's a place where you might get to see fireworks, those are a super thing to share, just like pie. So today we learned about sharing and we read some nice stories that I think are a nice way to end our day. And I wanna say good night to you all and I hope to see you again soon.